Holy mother load of Alabama leprechaun. Show me the gold. This is a very pretty sight here. So these are these are awesome lures. I want to do a quick tip on just how to maximize your results with these Alabama leprechauns. These are these are soft plastic jerk baits. They're five inches. And these are dynamite for up in the shallows, particularly on those days where it's just calm and there's not much water movement. If you have a lure with too much vibration, the fish are gonna spook off. So the finicky fish, this is what'll get them. And it's shockingly good for bonnethead sharks. For some reason, they, they'll actually smack it. There's some tricks on rigging though. So here's what you need to know. Here's what you need. For the flats in these, in these lures, you need these twist lock hooks. These are owner twist locks. They're both three odd. You can see this one has a, a smaller weight. Put them there next to each other. The, uh, the, sorry, this is a 1 16th ounce weight, and this is a 1 8th ounce weight, both on the three yacht hook. These are now my two that I go with. And so the trick in selecting one versus the other, go with the heavier one when you're fishing the flats, like open water, you can cast further. It'll dive down a little bit deeper. But if you're skipping under mangroves, this is the ticket. This thing is amazing, has a really good skip. And again, good action. It's still, even though that's super light, it's still enough weight to keep it, to keep it keeled down. So what you don't want to do is you don't want it to be helicoptering in the water. That's why we go with these weighted hooks. I used to use these on those, those worm hooks without the weight and, uh, and having that weight will keep it keeled down. And it almost looks like a topwater lure, like walking a dog underwater. And again, fish cannot help but to smack it. So that's it. And as far as rigging, in case you're new to this, um, and for everybody who does who does get these, we have a mini course that we'll send to you. It includes the rigging, where to use them, how to rig them, the the best rod and reel, all that stuff. But as far as rigging, this is super important. We might as well cover it. Is you get the get the 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 grip or the the uh, twist lock right there. Sorry, I can't even talk. Get this twist lock. Have the point go right down the front, right in the middle, and and then we just tr twist that puppy on. That's why this twist lock is so effective. Where you use that point, it's the centering pin. It'll make sure that it goes straight down the middle every time. Stop it right about there where the bait can still swivel. And now it's all about getting it as, as just clean as possible where there's no kinks in the lure. So I put it out there on the side, measure with my finger where it will naturally come through, and then go through the underbelly and pop it out the top, right down the middle. So if it's, if it's not in the middle, if this is a little bit off, I'll actually redo it. It needs to be right in the middle. And that will, again, Mac, just guarantee that you get the right spot. So there we are. And if we want it super weedless, the final trick is to just skin hook it. So you basically push it forward and bury that hook point in the material. Now you can bounce off anything you want and it's not gonna get snagged. It is impossible for it to get snagged when it's rigged like this, but when the fish bites it, pops it right out, good to go. And uh, so again, solid lure. This is a must-have for inshore anglers. This has been a game changer, so I literally have this in my tackle bag every time. Normally paddle tail, like this lame shady paddle tail, is what I start with. But on those calm summer days when there's no wind, this is it. This is this is the, the key. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew about it. And if you haven't yet tried them, well, you, can, you can get a pack on the house. So we'll send you a free pack. It'll be a pack of seven. Uh, we also we obviously can't send you all these, but it'll be a pack of seven. Just want to make sure that you have some to try them out. And again, make sure to get these hooks. Make sure to go through the mini course that we're going to send to you that goes through everything you need to know about them. And you're going to be catching a ton of fish with these great lures. So I'll put a link down below for details. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And I can't wait to see some awesome fish you catch with these great lures.